box this is no give me this is no so the word no when i'm sleeping i can see n o n o so it's always no <laughs> Welcome again. The voice still is not here with us. I honestly hope you can hear what I am saying. And let's discuss. So today's videos we are going to be discussing the development traits of blessed twos and rising three. My child was two and has just risen to three. So I thought at the age of two, I've seen it all until three became the magic number. Am I worried? Yes. Am I shocked? No. Am I going to share with you? Yes. So first of all, let's talk about eight new developments that I have learned through my son. And then we're going to go on to talk about three. So I've broken it a bit down to blessed twos and rising threes. I'll be looking this way because I've got my computer here. So the blessed twos basically is about managing their behavior through multiple approaches. So either it could be through screaming, tantrum, um, throwing things in the floor, anything to get the mother or the father's attention they want to do it so let's get into the first it. thing i've learned is tantrum my little one has a tantrum i thought i had a tantrum uh, 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 uh. he was like no mama not today so my little one has a tantrum especially if he does not get what he wants so yes i've learned his key words at the moment is no everything is no you ask this is no Give me this is no. So the word no when I'm sleeping, I can see N O N O. So it's always no. He's got a mood swing that I don't know how our parents did it, but my little one has a mood swing which turns into tantrum. So yeah, he's very helpful around the house. He loves to help me clean up does the washing like he puts he put the clothes in the washing machine he pressed the button so he loves that he loves doing a bit of a house chores around the house so i really like that if he tight if he's played with his toys he'll tidy it up and he'll be like mama i finish can i have this i'm like yeah well done good tidy up so i always encourage him to do something good every day and he will be rewarded but I limit the reward so that he doesn't think that every time he does something, he, he's being rewarded. So I do less reward and more encouragement to become more independent. His vocabulary has extended. So he's speaking very well now. Um, it's not as clear, but it's good. This is for the two. So he's speaking much better than when he was one. He loved reading at the age of two. So he enjoys books. I started reading with him when he was 18, eight, no, even younger than that actually. When he was seven months, we started reading books, so he grew into that. So that's very good to see that he loves books. At the moment, his favourite books are Monkey Puzzle, um, Hand of Surprise, Baby Please, which is a new book we read with him. He enjoys those books and he loves The Hungry Caterpillar. Those are the books that are very good to extend children's vocabulary so he really enjoys that book he's got an obsession with bus and cars every time he sees a bus he will stand up sorry my voice <laughs> he will stand there observe it and name each of the numbers so he'll be like mom bus number this bus number this it's a red bus it's a big bus it's a small bus so he's got obsession with bus and cars he's still so playing which means playing by himself he still did that and we'll see how rising three is taken rising three is basically the development of personality 
this is when you understand or they understand they've got a personality they'll have attitude and you know they tend to become silent hearers they'll hear you but they won't hear you it's like selective hearing so they'll choose what they want to hear so this is the rising three so um growth through independency he wants to do things for himself put on his own coat his own jacket and tidies up by himself like he's become very independent brush his own teeth and you know make a few things around the house so he's very independent as we speak now now that he's three he doesn't like sharing only because i believe um, when you have only one child they understand that everything is theirs so they don't want to share with anyone else because they know that i'm the only one who's playing with it and one else is playing with it so he doesn't like sharing but because he goes to nursery he learns to share and at home like when we play games i'll ask him why don't you give mama this why don't you give mama that so he's learning to share with me as well so we're slowly building up to go up to him being more sharing child the other key word which i've learned from my son is leave it alone every time i try to touch something he'll be mama Leave it alone. I'm like, huh? Who do you think you're talking to? So be like, <laughs> so yeah, everything's leave it alone. That's a new keyword. He's very energetic. He's like a spider man. Um, he doesn't stop. So he's always going and going and going and going and going. Then again, I thought two was something, but three came with a wave. So he's always going and going and going and going, which is good because then when it comes to nighttime, he's able to sleep a long period of time. Also adding to that, he's stopped having his naps and so no more naps. He'll go throughout the whole day without any nap and then he'll sleep fantastically for me at night. Too, so that's a good thing. Challenging behaviour, selective behaviour and selective hearing. Um, as you would expect with, with any children, they're always going to have challenging behaviour. We just need to understand how to deal with it. With me, it would be where I'll either raise my voice or bring it down give him eye contact and tell him I don't like this behaviour because it makes me sad. So I'm always saying to him, do you want mama to cry? Do you want mama to be sad? And he will respond and say, no mama, mama don't cry, don't cry. And he will give me a cuddle. So he understands that he's made me upset and he doesn't like to make mama upset. So our challenging behaviour is not as bad. He's also showing attention seeking, meaning that he will do something deliberately so that I can either tell him off or go to him and then he will smile in my face and for example he's become an expert of adding these new expensive scooters he will just go 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 he knows the road is there he knows he needs to stop but he wouldn't stop he'll continue to go and I have to raise my voice with it's like it's amazing but what can we do there that's how they learn through making mistakes but when it comes to road he he knows the road and he knows that when he gets to the road he will stop but sometimes he will challenge it and try to go beyond what he should be doing so he's doing good he's doing good there's nothing else to share um again thank you for watching if you would like for me to do other videos please leave the comment below and i will read it and i will hopefully make it happen have a good one bye